in my country, you swim against the tide, you get pushed back to the shore. I find a way to make it to the other side. I'm Musa Musawi, and that's all I'm going to say about myself. You see, what, what I want to say is not about me. I want you to know me through what I'm trying to say. I want you to, to know me through my message. Now, I, because I can tell you 110 things about me, what matters to you is what you conclude. So in the spirit of that conclusion, let's say, why am I here? I could have done this presentation minus the 16 hour flight. I could have went, I could have went door to door and talked to people. I don't go door to door for two reasons. It's not very efficient and getting arrested is not in my daily plans. <laughs> so I do this because the people here want to listen. And in my country we say, it's like we used to die because we used to talk. Now we die because no one listens. So I thank you for listening. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the communicating active passion. It's a mouthful, but don't worry about it. Kick back, lay back, take your shoes off if you want to. And uh, I'm going to hook it up for you. But just keep your passion in your heart while I do this. Can you do that for me? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so people always say, do something you're passionate about, and you'll have to, you never have to work a day in your life. And that's like, do something you're passionate about, and you're going to like your job. So that might be a myth somehow, but there's some truth in there. See, what, but how is that passion ignited? How do you ignite it? How does it start? It's not something simple. There's this kid in Dubai. He hates to see stuff being thrown on the ground. Absolutely hates it. He did a project about it. He did a news article about it. He's starting an organization about it. So it starts with something small, and then it gets on to something bigger. But how do you sustain that passion? How do you make it? How do you keep it in your heart? You look up. You can start searching. I like music, hip hop specifically. Doesn't mean I don't listen to a little bit of Andre Bocelli's Besame Mucho <laughs> or, or a little bit of Elvis Presley. It's all good. You got to look at things you love, like Simon said, through different lenses. Yeah? And then after that, the passion in your heart grows. And now you want to spread it out, develop it, get it to other people. Now, you do that by talking to other people. And some people say, oh, well, we can't say it everywhere and all of that. Well, I quote Tupac in international conferences. So if you think you can spread it, you can. If you love something, you'll find a way to spread it around. And then the, your passion transforms into action. Now, the, for this, I want you to keep your passion in your heart right now. And on the count of three, scream it out for me. OK? One, two, three. Now that was kind of a whistle. I want to scream. One, two, three. Yeah! Now that's the scream. My leg just moved. All right. So, so action, action is something that could change people's lives. Just move my leg. Uh, it can also lead to terrible circumstances. Again, it moved my leg. So uh, it's. Uh, it does, but it, the, what matters is you act correctly, like what you just did. You use your passion to act. And passion is like biofuel. It gets you going 10, 100% without spending like any environmental costs. So you get, you get that passion in you, and you have to act towards the good of the community. And then you have to find, let the community find its own solution. By that, I mean you let your community know the way how to find its way out so that it can make it without your help specifically. OK? So action, action uh, is a bit, after you do that, it's like a bit of a snowball. You throw it out, and it grows bigger and bigger and bigger. So the snowball, some people also say activism is like the scientific method, but that's a bit too complicated for me. I say action and activism is something that you just go out there and do. Bad things are meant to happen, but that's why you plan for them. I have this dude two hours before his lecture, 2,000 people signed up, 
and his power cord was too short. Looking at the tech guys, I'm like, the power cord is too short? And look at him, what can I do, man? The power cord is too short. <laughs> and like, so he had his friend go out and get a new power cord in time, and that's why. So that's why we have to visualize according to our passion, we act on it thoroughly, and we plan it thoroughly, and then we act on it, and then we review. So you did that cool thing, now you wanna spread it around. You wanna get it out there. You could do multi-campaigns and awareness. I actually have a funny, very funny story about that. My friend did a local concert, planning to get local bands and everything. There's this guy that came and spoiled the party and crashed it. His name is Bono. I guess he's kind of big in Australia or something. So, so he came, he crashed the party, they sold more tickets than Big Macs. It was amazing and they got a lot of money. So, and now I want you to do a little something for me. I want you to put your hands up and do a kind of thing called jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross, punches. Yeah, now keep going. Now this is called, this is not fighting training, this is called communication. Now, this is, your mind is communicating, you can stop now. Your, mi <laughs> your mind is communicating a message to your body. It's uh, letting you that perform an action. Therefore, you're performing the action. So, and communication is something that's very, very important because uh, it, could, it could lead to miscommunication. And in my country, uh, miscommunication is a big issue. A lot of lives have been lost because of that. So we really need more communication. And it's so simple. You could say hello, that's communication. You could say bye, that's communication. You could say I raised the price for a better place, at least a place where it can make something called peace. That's communication. And by having different methods, you reach out to different people. Okay. So, and now we're gonna do a little bit of something. I know you're all tired. I want you to shake the hands of the person to your right and to your left. If you don't have a person to your left, shake the hands of the one to your right twice. <laughs> all right. So, what you did, what you did is a little something called networking. Now, now networking is like, uh, basically communicating, but you have a little bit of incentive to it. So uh, networking happens all around the world, and my friends, my friend called Elsa B, she did a project in Namibia, and she does something called networking, and by doing networking, she got her message out, her project grew a lot more, and she actually got a partner in Europe to help her with raising her funds. So networking really works. And you need to forget the geographical barriers and just do it. Now, uh, and it gives you another reason to log on Facebook. How bad can that be? I mean, seriously. <laughs> now, the big idea is called communicating active passion. Now, that idea is, uh, is really solid, and what you just did is called communicating active passion. So if, if it sounds a bit complicated, well, you just did it in about seven, eight minutes. So it's not too complicated for you, obviously. You need to multiply that into your own lives because when you communicate that your, your action, you introduce the person who can talk the talk with his passion, the person who can walk the walk with his action, and communicate them so we can walk and talk. Thank you.